simply here. So we've got our, oh, I'm gonna have some oil. Uh, we're gonna have our clutch uh, cover here that we're gonna remove a handful of uh, bolts around the outside of this. And as you guys know, I'm gonna use my favorite tool here. All right, all of the bolts around the outside are loosened and I'm getting ready to remove these. I've got a couple questions for you guys. Does any of your Badger 80 four-wheelers have a Kickstarter? We've got the port for it there. Also, another question I'd like to get an answer for, does any of yours have the sight glass? They make these covers and a lot of times they'll make them fit a bunch of different years and models. Um, but I'm just curious what year, what year and models came with that, uh, with those windows and that cutout there for the Kickstarter. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have a Kickstarter model or a uh, model with the sight glass in there. Boy, a little bit of debris in there, a little bit of corrosion, a little bit of water. You see that clutch pack there? Uh, doesn't look like it's in absolutely terrible condition. Just looks a little dry. Like maybe, uh, maybe we haven't had some oil in there for a little bit. So that is unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and remove these four bolts here with, you guessed it, my impact driver. You guys are getting so good at this. Four tapered screws that we're going to pull out here, or bolts. Okay, we got that little hub doohickey off here, and underneath of there, we have a larger nut, but you're not going to be able to see that very well from your angle, and that's okay. You guys are smart enough to realize what a nut is, just like I'm smart enough to realize what a screw and a bolt is. So. Go ahead and flatten, there's a little stopper in there that'll allow that nut to not spin off when you are riding this four-wheeler. So we've got to flatten that little stopper there. We've got to get a, uh, a socket in there that's gonna fit that nut. And then I'm gonna be able to pull this entire clutch pack apart. Got the right socket in there. Anybody wanna guess the size? Seems that's my number one question. What I should do is just tear a motor down and just mention every socket size because everybody asks what size I use. This is a 24 millimeter, 24 millimeter socket to remove this nut here, okay? Get that removed. Now, look at that. You can be able to pull that entire pack off. This thing, I think, is in good condition besides the uh, corrosion and some buildup. So we're gonna take clean that up and this, I think, is gonna be a valuable part. There's a, kind of a lot to these clutches. Maybe I'll do a separate video once this is cleaned up on uh, each, each component of this clutch here show you how to rebuild, show you how to take it apart. I'll try to get a link put up on uh, good clutch kits. And uh, if you buy those through me, make sure you mention my name during checkout. Maybe they'll give you a stellar discount. I doubt it, but uh, you never know. You never know. This is a starter idler gear here. Okay, these, uh, your starter, remember, was here. I don't know if you can see that in camera angle. Starter was here. Okay, this thing. Which, which way did this go? I just pulled this out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's how it went. I'm pretty sure of that. Starter was here, Beep. just like that. It turned this big old gear with very, very small teeth over. That turned it over. See, it's not spinning the, the engine over this direction, but you turn it this direction, it'll spin that motor over. So as soon as that starter engaged, spun that motor over, piston's going up and down, Fuel's coming in from the carburetor, spark from the generator on the other side, your stator assembly there, creating spark, boom, an explosion happens in the top end, and it starts your four-wheeler. Then you can let off the starter button, and uh, this gear will stop spinning, the starter will stop spinning, this gear will stop spinning, it'll stop turning the motor over. If you continue to hold that, uh, that starter, it's just going to keep on spinning your motor over like this. Probably not going to break anything, but... Uh, if that motor's running, it's going to be running faster than the starter is. You take and could potentially bind these gears. So just a little warning of that. I don't know that I've ever seen that damage like that before, but I, I see where there could be a risk there. So idler gear, that's what they call that, an idler gear. Okay, because it just spins. 
Okay, we've got our crankshaft here. We've got our shifter assembly here. Move that little arm doohickey there and then pull this out. That's that shifter that was on the other side. Remember I talked, uh, that's on the left-hand side there is where your shift lever is. You can go ahead and pull this out. Problem with these is when they're built into the case like this, if this is bent at all, they're very, very difficult to get out of there. And if it is bent at all and you take a, a hammer from the other side, try to push that out, you could potentially break that case. You want to make sure that shaft is straight and uh, you know go in the right direction there uh, before you start slamming on that thing. Just be careful of that. A little washer there. Don't forget that. That sits behind the clutch assembly. We've got a little uh, snap ring here we need to pull off. And uh, that nut there, 19 millimeter. Okay, make note of that 19 millimeter to remove this crank gear here. Be careful you don't lose a finger when you're doing that too. These are dangerous gears.